In 2007, U.S. police seized more than 300,000 pairs of fake Nike in New York, involving a total value of more than 31 million U.S. dollars. These fake shoes from China stunned Americans, and for this reason, the New York Times reporter also made a special trip to China to do investigative interviews. Finally, it was discovered that these fake Nike shoes all came from a mysterious place, Putian Fujian. Since then, the name of counterfeit shoes capital, Putian Fujian, has spread around the world. In 2018, the New York police cracked another Air Jordan fake shoes case. The source of the fake shoes all came from China. In the two-year period from 2016 to 2018, the New York police alone seized 385,000 pairs of fake shoes of Jordan brand. Shoes that this group has sold caused Nike a direct loss of more than 70 million U.S. dollars. What industry professionals find most unbelievable is that after inspecting all the details, it is impossible to tell that the shoes are fake. It is said that Putian people have a dream: is to make brand names affordable to the whole world. Obviously, this is just an ironic joke. But there have been mainland media reports that in the Chinese market, nine out of ten pairs of fake shoes are made in Putian. One out of three pairs of Nike shoes in the world are faked in Putian. Putian Footwear Association 2021 statistics show that there are currently more than 4,200 shoe manufacturing enterprises, more than 500,000 hired workers, with a production value of more than 100 billion yuan. Putian makes both real and fake shoes, and is one of the largest domestic and foreign shoe OEM production bases in China, as well as the capital of fake shoes, where the production of fake shoes has formed a complete industrial chain. Located in the center of Putian City, Anfu E-Commerce Mall is the distribution center of fake shoes. During the daytime, all the stores are closed except for a few convenience stores, and almost no one is around. But at night, especially after 10 o'clock, it is the most prosperous place in Putian. There are bright lights, a lot of people, a lot of traffic, and almost everyone is talking in low voices, paying money and picking up goods. Even streets that are several blocks nearby are often jammed by traffic. So this place is called Ghost Market. The Anfu E-Commerce Mall is surrounded by various industries related to fake shoes. Hundreds of thousands of people are engaged in WeChat business and online store business. It is said that the transaction volume here can reach 200 million RMB in one night. In 2017, a reporter from Beijing News Daily paid a secret visit to this place and revealed an industrial chain of manufacturing, sales, and transportation of fake shoes. The stores in the E Mall are generally not large. Several pairs of brand name shoes are placed on the shoe rack. The most commonly seen well-known sports brands such as Adidas, Nike, and New Balance. But when you look closely, you will find that the logo is different than the famous brand logo by a few letters or a slightly alternation of graphics. The shoekeeper said this is their own brand, but the shoes on display are not the real big business. Putian's fake shoes have several grades. From the fake shoes that the consumer can easily distinguish, all the way to the premium goods that are indistinguishable from genuine products. The price also ranges from a few dozen yuan to several hundred yuan. The highest grade fake shoes are said to be half the price of genuine shoes. The first grade is called general goods. These are the lowest grade of faker. The appearance, workmanship, and other aspects are very poor. Only the appearance is roughly the same. These are what shoekeepers call their own brand. The price is also very low, of course, only dozens of yuan. The second grade, Super A. This grade is a little more refined than the general goods, but the appearance and quality are still very different than genuine products. What one can buy from Taobao are basically of this grade. The third grade, the genuine mark and the material are almost identical to the genuine product. An average person cannot distinguish it from a real product. The fourth grade, the company grade, also known as high imitation shoes, this is the highest grade of faker that can be seen on the market. These are imitation products made by some manufacturers in accordance with the same production process of the real shoes. The fifth grade, the pure original version, including the original imitation and the original factory tail product. 
It is made by the genuine factory with the remaining raw materials or the purchased same raw materials using the same machine. These five grades of fake shoes can all be bought in the Anfu e-commerce mall. Fake shoes that are most commonly seen in the Chinese market are the third and fourth grade. Putian people are very cautious that only old customers are able to access the goods of the two highest grades, which are generally for export. Those open stores are just places used for making deals or retails, and the real places for picking up goods are in the neighborhoods close to the mall. As with the mall, there are also a constant flow of traffic in these neighborhoods. But unlike many stores in the E Mall with open doors, there are more like small individual warehouses. At night, there are many vans parking along the roadside. The trucks are full of Adidas and Nike shoe boxes. Many riders carry cartons in and out on their bikes. Almost every house here is equipped with thick iron doors, most of which are closed and will only open when someone knocks on the door. The reporter found that there is much more than the sale of fake shoes. But around the fake shoes formed a complete industrial chain, which includes sales of real name phone cards dedicated to e-commerce registration, a full set of e-shop photo shooting services, training classes on opening e-stores on Taobao and WeChat, courier collection and shipping services, picking up counterfeit goods from factories. In addition to teaching on how to open a store in Taobao and WeChat. Phone cards registered with real names living anywhere in the country, providing great convenience for e-stores on Taobao and WeChat, are also available for purchase here. There are also several studios that can help take pictures of physical stores, as well as still pictures of various types of shoes, and also provide a variety of e-commerce pictures with texts, which are used for the introduction of the store's products. Here, you can specify any city in the country as shipping address on your courier slip. In 2017, China's pair video exposed Putian's industrial chain of counterfeit overseas online shopping. Fake shoe factories collude with courier companies to counterfeit the shipping address to Shanghai, Shenzhen, and even the United States and Southeast Asia. This means that even if you confirm the U.S. phone number and U.S. shipping address when you shop online from overseas website, you actually still receive the shoes made in Putian. They can even do this. If a customer wants to buy a certain type of shoes, which are currently not available in their stores and warehouses, they can order Shoe Factory to customize it. As long as the customer can provide a photo of the shoes, the minimum order quantity is 500 pairs. So how is it that Putian has such a strong counterfeit ability, forming such a huge industry of fake shoes? This actually stems from the city's long history of engaging in international brands as OEMs. In the 1980s, Putian relied on its proximity to Taiwan to become the biggest beneficiary of this wave of manufacturing shifts from Taiwan. In 1987. Putian shoe factories introduced eight production lines at once to OEM for Nike, Adidas, and Reebok, among many other well-known brands. By 1993, Putian had more than 100 shoe manufacturing enterprises, producing more than 100 million pairs of shoes each year, which were sold to 30 countries and regions around the world. By 1996, the gross value of Putian's footwear industry had exceeded 4 billion yuan. Putian's footwear industry has gradually formed a scale. However, after doing international OEM for a long time, Putian people found out their limitations. First of all, OEM factories must strictly follow the order quantity for production, even if they have the ability to expand production. Secondly, the profits from OEM work are very low. The gross profit margin of OEM factories is only about two percent from design to sales. Seeing that brand name shoes only do the branding and marketing without having to do the actual production, but reap the vast majority of the profits, shoe factory owners began to be dissatisfied with the situation. While producing real shoes, they got the brand's shoe samples and shoe making technology, and started the business of counterfeit shoes. Some industry insiders revealed that the profit of counterfeit shoes was three times that of OEMs. According to some insiders, at that time, factory owners who wanted to engage in the production of fake shoes would, by all means, bribe the employees of Nike and other brand OEM factories to get the design drawings, 
and many fake shoe factories would even pay high salary to hire many senior workers from OEM factories to guide their production. So relying on equipment and technology accumulated for years, Putin's fake shoes industry has been able to develop rapidly. These high imitation shoes have a very high quality, and for some high-end products, even professional inspectors cannot find any problem. In 2003, there were more than 3,000 counterfeit shoe factories in Putian. By 2006, during a consolidation by the Putian Public Security Authorities, more than 1.2 million counterfeit Nike logos were seized. The initial market for these fake shoes were mainly overseas. But with the rise of counterfeiting efforts abroad and the rise of domestic e-commerce platforms such as Taobao, Putian's fake shoe business began to shift targets, sweat the country, and Putian shoes gained fame in China. According to statistics, in 2011, the sales of Putian high imitation shoes on Taobao reached 3.3 billion yuan, and there are data that 80% of the famous brand sports shoes on Taobao are Putian products. Since 2011, Taobao has finally started to crack down on fake Putian shoes on the platform. Only in 2014, Taobao seized more than 120,000 Putian fake shoe seller accounts, of which as many as 32,000 sellers repeatedly sold fake shoes. In the face of Taobao's severe sanctions, Putian fake shoes business began to gradually shift their sales channels. In addition to WeChat, Xianyu, TikTok, and other laxly regulated platforms that provide online sales, physical stores in second and third tier cities are also stable sales outlets. Some of these physical stores are even specialty stores for some brand name shoes. Of course, the fake shoes sold in the specialty stores may be of higher grades, and average consumers generally would not be aware. Sometimes they trickily pair a real shoe with a fake shoe for sale. By 2017, the entire production of genuine shoes in Putian City reached 50 billion yuan, but the local imitation of international brands, including Adidas, Nike, Converse, etc., reached the production value of 100 billion yuan, more than twice the size of the genuine shoe industry. Putian fake shoes can flourish. It must be said that this is also due to the spirit of the constant pursuit of progress of Putian people. In China, there is an app that specializes in identifying counterfeit goods called Hupu. On this platform, there are many professionals sharing how to identify fake shoes. But the content has become a teaching material for Putian counterfeiters to continuously improve their counterfeiting level. They follow the comments and the professionals at Hupu and seriously make corrections and improvements to their shoes. The people who were once the most discerning professionals on Hupu are no longer able to distinguish the authenticity of their shoes. They can only leave an ambiguous comments. I can only guarantee that the logo is real. The fake shoe dealers even advertised, "Support the Hupu, past Hupu genuine just in a second." It's really a naked mockery. The biggest victims of the rampant fake shoes are the world's most famous sports brands, such as Nike and Adidas. Some people may wonder why Nike and other brands do not sue Putian shoes that counterfeit their trademarks. In fact, it is not that Nike does not want to sue, but they don't have the capability. First of all, there are too many counterfeiters, and most of them are invisible. Secondly, even if the lawsuit is won and the factory goes bankrupt and closes down, there may soon be another ten counterfeit factories built. Thirdly, the lawsuit is slow and costly. Large counterfeit factories often collude with local governments, and some government officials are even the umbrella for the counterfeit companies. In recent years, Nike, Adidas, and other brands have accelerated the pace of withdrawal from China, and product OEMs have gradually shifted to Vietnam, Indonesia, and other countries. This is certainly related to China's rising labor costs and epidemic prevention and control policies. But is it also related to the manufacture of these fake shoes? Without the support of OEMs, can these fake shoe makers continue to be so rampant? In February of this year, in order to reverse the image of producing counterfeits, Putian City Shoe Association applied for registration of the collective trademark Putian Shoes, hoping to create their own brand. However, it seems that there is still a long way to go before Putian shoes can change their image in people's minds, 
and remove the title of the capital of fake shoes. Thank、you